All right, so here's me not being embarrassed, getting silly, having a good time, and I'm having my wife shoot some reference video where I accidentally dropped my bike. By the way, this is all acting. I didn't accidentally drop my bike. This is deliberate. <laughs> but I came up with the idea to get some reference videos so I could go back and animate it. Okay, so you should go do this. Go and get somebody to record you and then go back to your computer and really analyze and watch this stuff a million times over. And then what you do is you plan things out. One of the things that I did after this was I went and I screenshotted a bunch of these. And then after you get your screenshots, what you can do is you can bring all of this into whatever animation software you have. Okay, so in order to plan out this shot, I did a sketch of my bike, and then I also did a sketch of the poses that I copied. Um, so we kind of just mentioned, or I just kind of showed those to you a second ago. So here, let me just go back. And here are those images that I'm working from. And in doing so, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to click, 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 click. I'm copying the poses that I actually did and then I'm exaggerating them because what I'm trying to do is to figure out how can I create some kind of a sequence, okay? Once that's done, you just continue the process of moving keyframes around and in betweening. So at any rate, I hope that was helpful. Definitely go back and give this a try. I would say start by coming up with an idea. After you get the idea, go record it. Go and analyze that recording and get all of your drawings um, in whatever animation software you have. After you do that, go ahead and start to plan out and do the rest of your drawings, you know, for the bigger sequence. And uh, yeah, hopefully you have some fun while you're doing that. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.